Hello, my name is Brian Langevin, and it is my honor today to welcome you to the largest ever asexuality conference. Yeah. Now, we want this to be an event to remember, and as such, I hope you'll join us in immortalizing this event on social media. Whether you use Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, we'd love to see your messages running through the hashtag, hashtag AWP2014. I'm gonna write that on the board because you're probably all gonna forget it, and I'm gonna forget it. So, let's do that. Might be a minute here. So, now's a perfect time to tweet. Just waiting for the hashtag. Hashtag AWP2014. Alright, so if everyone can see that, in case you're wondering what that means, the A is asexual, as you can probably imagine, the W and P are World Pride, and 2014 is the current year, if you forgot. Okay, so, but because we want to respect the privacy of all individuals involved, we ask that you do not post any photos or images of those with a gray name tag. I don't have one on me. I have one, but I'm fine to photographed. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take mine off for a demonstration, and then I'll give you one. <laughs> this is said gray name tag. If you see someone with one of these name tags, please don't take their picture or, photo or post information about them unless you explicitly ask and receive permission. All right. Um, in addition to that, if you have the wrong name tag, we can provide you with a new one after this welcoming session. Those who do not wish to be filmed or photographed will be seated in the designated no filming zones in each room. We have these zones on the far, that's your left, and the far right. So just a little hint, if you don't want to be filmed, you should probably move there now, if you're in the center. Okay, we're good, perfect. Excellent, less to distract us. So, I will just continue on here. Once again, a reminder I have written here. Why don't you join me in tweeting, hashtag AWP2014. I was gonna do like a interactive thing on the projector, but we haven't had it set up yet. So, that's okay, just pretend. Pull up your phone, hashtag, just looking at all the technical failures at the conference. <laughs> Hashtag AWP2014. But now, I would like to introduce to you someone who is highly involved within the asexual community. This person that I am about to bring onto stage now actually started the Asexual Visibility and Education Network, which is the primary forum that our asexual community uses to communicate, currently boasting about for more than 80,000 members, if I... Correct. So, this person is a leading activist in asexual awareness education, and I don't have a whole list of everything they've done here, because that's not the care either, but they have been on many different interviews and all this kind of stuff. I'm sure you can Google his name, David J. So excited to be here today. Can you all hear me? All right? Yeah. All right. Man, there's some asexual people in this audience. Um, I'm so excited to be here today. Uh, so today, as you were saying, is a really historic moment for our community. Um, we're, we're in a really powerful time where for the past 13 years since I started AVEN, we've been an online community that's been slowly expanding to, to come offline. And we're, at a, this year for the first time, we've got multiple conferences, regional ones, happening in different areas around the world, and then this international one, bringing everyone together, happening across the globe. We've got meetup groups that are happening across the globe that are getting bigger and bigger. And what that 
means is that something is happening at a scale that's never happened before. Something's going to happen a lot today in a way I'm incredibly excited about, which is that all of you are going to be able to connect with one another. All of you are going to be able to have conversations in sessions and between sessions. You're going to be able to skip sessions because you're going to wind up running into people who share experiences that you have, who have things to teach you in a way um, that we've never been able to have before with this many people coming together. And so uh, the one thing, the one thing that's going to happen today um, that's most powerful is for all of you to connect, for all of you to have those conversations with one another. And I want to encourage you to do that. It's an incredibly historical time for you all to be making those connections. This is a time where, as I mentioned, we're coming together locally in a way we never have before. This is a time when the LGBT community is acknowledging and including us in a way they never have before. This is a time where people who do count the answer of sex education are acknowledging and including us in a way they never have before. This is a time when characters are being represented in, um, asexual characters are being represented in television and in movies in a way they never have before. All of those discussions are things that are ongoing. They're all things that are being defined right now. And if this conference is like the conference that we had two years ago, only bigger, which is how it looks to me, <laughs> then the conversations that you have today, the connections that you form today, the relationships that you form today, are going to be the things that define how that historical moment is shaped. So, I would like to invite you to skip a session if you wind up in a really good conversation with someone. I would like to invite you to exchange email addresses with the people you connect with. I would like to invite you to be prepared to open up and have really deep really deep, meaningful conversations with the other people here. And if, at the end, you're really excited and you want to hug them, you should ask first because we're going to need to consider. <laughs> so, I'd like to close with a little shout out uh, that we do when we're marching in parades. How many of you know what the term asexy means? You can shout if you know. <laughs> David. Yeah, you can, not enough people. So, um, the term asexy emerged in the asexual community because we wanted to do something like calling things sexy, but in a way that was about us. And as it evolved, asexy came to mean something a little bit different than sexy. Asexy is a little less flashy. Asexy, to me, someone is asexy if they really understand themselves. If they really know themselves in a way that makes them accessible and open to connection with others. Someone who really loves a good book and isn't afraid to talk about it and isn't afraid to geek out with that, about that book with other people is super asexy. <laughs> so, I'd like to join you in a little shout out. I'm going to say, who's asexy? And you're going to say, we're asexy. <laughs> Ready? Excellent. And now a brief thank you. We'd like to thank Listen Up Canada for so generously donating the funds to provide us with two ASL interpreters today. This is an answer. If you're confused because we have four ASL interpreters today, the reason we have those additional two is because there was a crowd tilt campaign that was run to raise the funds for these other two ASL interpreters. I'm sure many of you in this room donated to it. And I would like to just acknowledge and thank all of you and all of those who did donate to provide those other two ASL interpreters. Thank you very much.
the generosity of these people has allowed us to make a more accessible conference today, and for that we are incredibly grateful. Also, we'd like to thank the Ryerson Students' Union for providing us this beautiful venue located on this, the traditional territory of the Mississauga. We'd like to thank World Pride for the opportunity to act as an affiliate event today. We'd like to thank all of our conference planners and volunteers. And what, finally, we'd like to thank all of you for coming today. Many of you have traveled great distances, some from very foreign countries, to get here. Others haven't traveled far at all, but we'd like to thank you all for attending. You are truly the reason we are able to host this conference today. So thank you. I'd like to direct your attention to the final page in your programs, our agreement of respect. <laughs> it looks like this. If you, it's on the back. Okay. So, I'm just going to go through this briefly. So, okay. as conference attendees, we highly encourage you to follow the policies within. Here are the policies. Firstly, we hope you respect other people, that you interact and talk about people respectfully. This includes respecting people's preferred pronouns and avoiding racism, sexism, ableism, and other kinds of oppressive or harmful language or actions. We'd like to ask you to avoid harm or violence, to not harass or be violent toward anyone at the conference, including verbal and or sexual harassment. Anyone who presents a risk of harm to other participants may be asked to leave. And finally, we ask you to respect other people's privacy. We hope you agree not to capture and use identifiable images, video or photographs, for example, and or other personal information, for example, names, of people at the conference without their consent. And if they aren't consenting, you'll know because they have a gray name tag. And that is all for our agreement of respect. So I please ask that all of you follow that agreement of respect. It is in your programs if you need to look at it again and remember what it is. Okay. Next up is CJ in the room. I'm not sure if they are. If not, I'll present for them. Okay, perfect. So, um, not perfect. I'm sad that they're not here. <laughs> they're just a sad. I'll, I'll, I made I'll find them. There. Okay, anyway, so I was going to invite CJ up to speak briefly about ASL interpretation. However, it does not seem that they are in the room. So, I, can, I, can, I have a quick announcement to make. If we, oh, go for it. So, um, while we wait to see if he just will show up, I have a quick announcement. Um, those of you who have these conference schedules in front of you will notice that there is an open session in room three during the first time slot, right after this. Um, we are going to be having a surprise bonus session in that room uh, called Am I Asexual? This is for people who are new to the community, people who are in a place of wanting to come here to explore their own identity and questions of their identity. We're going to have a safe space. We can get in a circle and talk about um, the process of exploring this identity. So that will be in room three, which is across the hallway and up the stairs. And I will be leading that along with a couple of people, and it will be really awesome. Perfect. Thank you very much. And OK. Now, I guess I'm going to speak about ASL interpretation. I was sent a brief memo this morning, so I'm going to try to recall everything there. If I miss anything, my ASL interpreter will let me know. All right, so... Okay. Apparently that's not likely to happen, so bear with me. I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Okay, so with ASL interpretation, when you are speaking with someone who requires to use ASL to communicate, we ask that you speak directly to the person, not to the interpreter. So you're not speaking through someone, you're speaking to the person who requires this interpretation. And CJ, do you want to pres present the rest of this? Uh, well, since I just talked about quite sure you said it, sounded pretty good. Um, <laughs> one of the things, so just be patient, speak to the people, not to the interpreters. Uh, sorry, I was running up on the stairs. And another thing is just remember that for those of us who don't sign, the interpreters are there to help us overcome our communication barriers. 
Um, so it's for all of us. And uh, occasionally, if you're going too fast, we might have to wait for the interpreters to catch up. All right. Thanks. Perfect. <laughs> and CJ, I'd like to call you up one more time. <laughs> this is CJ, by the way, in case you didn't know. So, CJ, it is my understanding that you will be at the Dyke March later yes. tonight, and I would like you to please speak about that a little bit. Uh, well, the Dyke March is happening this afternoon. Some of us are leaving from the conference, marching in the Dyke March, which leaves right from near the conference, and then coming back. Some of us are marching with the Avon group, the asexual group. Some people, I think, are marching with different groups. That's great. Uh, lots of wonderful asexual participation. Um, so, we are meeting... Um, at 1.30, probably leaving this building by 1.45, just at the front doors at Ryerson. So get your lunch, and then after that, we will meet up and then walk to over to the Dyke March. And we have some banners and uh, signs and a, a wonderful asexual pride flag. And then we can march, and then I will be bringing the group back here afterwards. Just to clarify, in case you were confused by the location, you're going to be meeting where you registered this morning. All right. And now, because we recognize that not everyone fits the rigid gender binaries, all washrooms in this building and the adjoining building where we have our other session have been reposted re to be gender neutral. Woo! We have yes! <laughs> that all washrooms remain safe spaces regardless of anyone's gender. I'd now like to call up Sarah Beth Brooks, sorry, Sarah Beth Brooks, <laughs> to speak to us. Sarah is the founder of Asexual Awareness Week, an organization that works to spread asexual visibility and education. In addition, Sarah works to spread asexual awareness through media, interviews, etc. Please welcome Sarah. Uh, David and I go to conferences together sometimes. 
and I don't think we've ever been to an actual session. Um, we're always busy doing something else, trying to organize or talking to people or meeting new people. And so while there are a lot of amazing things on the schedule today, and I do hope you will, uh, you will attend some of the sessions that are available today, if you find yourself in an amazing conversation, stay there and do that. Because that's what this conference is about. A year ago, I was in San Francisco at the conference that we held there last year for Pride. And we had uh, a lot of great conversations that were about how we can grow as an offline community. How we can take ourselves, like I said, from message boards to community conversations. And that's part of what I'm here today to talk about. <coughs> we can Q&A a little bit later. We can talk some more about that. I am also running around all day. Um, you are welcome to approach me to say hello. To, to talk, um, we can exchange information. I am leaving tonight at 6 o'clock. I, I work in Los Angeles, and I worked yesterday, and I work tomorrow. So if I forget your name, or if I forget your face, please forgive me, because I'm super jet lagged. Um, <laughs> I wanted to know who came from places that were not outside, not the United States, and not Canada. So who came from Europe? Yeah! <laughs>